judge here? That's correct. Okay, so my name is uh, Doug Blair. I'm a city attorney. I work for the city, not not for you. I'm the prosecutor. But it is an opportunity for us to talk about the case, and sometimes we are able to resolve it without a trial. I, I do see that, that there were two citations where you already uh, pled, and uh, which was transfer, failure to apply for a new title, and also the non-registration of uh, automobile. So so those you, you've already uh Pled no contest to. You have two remaining charges. One is for possession of uh, drug paraphernalia, and the other is for the uh, possession of, of uh, marijuana, uh, THC, the active ingredient in marijuana. I'm going to read the police report, and then I'm going to listen to what you have to say, and we're going to talk about what kind of a disposition makes sense for your two remaining tickets. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Right, it says July 12th, uh, 2023, the officer was working uh, in an unmarked squad, City Horicon, patrolling the area of Clinton near a lake, observed a black GMC van without registration plates displayed past me, going westbound and uh, west lake, conducted a traffic stop, identified Brett, Brett Judd, uh, said he had purchased it. I'll read through this, but the van part, well, I guess I'll read the whole thing. Uh, claimed he had purchased a van recently in a couple as in a couple weeks. Recent, let me read that. Just a second. Um, okay, the van recently, as in a couple of weeks, from a friend down in Illinois. He showed me the bill of sale and title. The name of the bill of sale matched the name of the title, but it was not dated. The title has a signature that matched the name of the title, but was dated four four. Twenty-three. Judd had not response. I think it means had no response as to why he told me he purchased the van a couple of weeks prior when the title was signed over to him three months prior. He seemed nervous when he spoke. I observed him do a series of fingertip to fingertip exercises. His pupils were pinpoint. There was a tie dye psychedelic sticker on his dashboard. I requested a canine handler. Chief Libnow respond under mutual aid, which he did. While I was completing the citations, while well, I continued to complete the citations, I briefed him on the stop, and, and the, the officer deployed his canine partner, which gave a positive alert to the front driver side door. Probable cause search the van yielded a red grinder containing less than one gram of a green leafy substance that later tested positive for THC. A blue metal pipe with a burnt leafy substance that later tested positive for THC. A title of the trailer, social security card, not belonging to Judd. Judd did not want to answer any questions pertaining to anything I located. He was released with citations for the violation and was cooperative. Stand by. I'll call her back. Okay, so that's what the cop says. Uh, what, what is your thinking on this, Brett? Um, I don't know that reasonable articulable suspicion is satisfied by the presence of a tie-dye sticker. Is there additional? I I, I, I I noted that myself. Okay, thank um, you. I, I think let's see. Let's uh, the okay. So what this becomes? It becomes a, a dog search, uh, and the question is whether or not the, the period of time from the original uh, apprehension or stop of you to the time that the, that the dog comes and does the sniff whether or not that's reasonable. In other words, that's, that is a legal issue. The, the, I agree that the tie-dye sticker uh, on the dashboard should should have no meaning, and, and it has no meaning to me. Okay. It, it, it has no, uh, well, I should say it has no meaning, but it has no, no legal force, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, but the, the issue, <clears throat> because we do a lot of these, I, I mean, I've been doing it for a long time. I go to a lot of schools on it, okay. uh, and I'll be going to another one here in about three weeks. And, and the issue that does come up time after time is the question of the period of time that you're, you're apprehended and the time that the, that the dog shows up. So that can't be an unreasonable period of time. Um, so That's he, my he understanding said, as well. The cop says, I requested the canine uh, handler, uh, Chief Liebnow, to respond under mutual aid, which he did. While, while I was completing the citations, while I continued to complete the citations, I briefed him on the stop and deployed his canine. So here, here's what I would do uh, to get a full read 
uh, on the situation, and that is this. I think that there'd be value to see what the uh, what the video looks like because the video is a real time thing, and, and that will show the period of time from when you were first apprehended uh, until the dog shows up. I, am I making sense? Yes, I also have supplemental video on my side where I began filming the traffic stop after he went back to his vehicle. So okay. I have a pretty significant Good. amount of it, time. Tell me, if you want to, t tell me what it shows in terms of time. Um, I haven't reviewed how long of a time it was, but it was quite a long time. And, um, I mean, obviously... Um, it feels like a long time any time that you're in the driver's seat with police behind you. Um, and, like, as far as the nervousness, um, I have anxiety. It's not unusual for people to be nervous around police. Um, I have yeah. negative... And, and I'm, the, the nervousness, I'm not discounting it completely, but, but uh, to me, the, the, the issue... Uh, is the period of time because here just for example the dog could have been in the car with the cop if the, if, he, if the dog was in the car with the cop and he, he came along with the cop and the cop said I see your registration plates uh, you don't have them and the dog was there and the dog alerted if that's the case then in my mind not necessarily yours but in my mind then the presence of the dog and the dog alerting would be sustained in a court of law. That's my mind. That's my Just understanding my... as well. I'm sorry? I said that's my understanding as well. Okay, good. So now, so I, I think the issue uh, isn't, uh, well, the figure-to-finger -finger thing, I, I'm not going to say that. I don't look at that as any significance. The, the pupils being pinpoint, that, that actually is an, indi an indicia of the possibility uh, of uh, the effect of uh, tetrahydrocannabis. So, so that is a possibility, but that still isn't the point. To, yeah. to me, the point, the point is the period of time, and, 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 and let me say it a different way. If you will look, because you sound like a pretty bright guy, if you look, uh, you'll see that the cases say that it can't be an undue period of time. That, in other words, you, they can't just hold you until the dog comes. Uh, However, if if the processing of whatever they're doing in its normal manner takes the same amount of time as it takes for the dog to come, then the cases have have permitted the arrest and have permitted the convictions. So what I'm saying is I'm willing to take a look. I don't know. I mean, okay. you can't tell from this piece of paper how long it is. It just says, uh, I request a canine handler. Chief Leibniz to respond to mutual aid, which he did while I, while I was completing the citations. I don't know if that's two minutes, two hours. I, I don't know. But the okay. camera will tell us. And, I, and if you have the video uh, and you want to uh, have me review that, I can do that. But uh, normally I, I would do it right off the cop video. Okay. But, but I think I think that would be fair. So uh, uh, what I'd like to do is just stand by. Ange? Uh, the issue with this one here with Mr. Judd is going to be the period of time uh, from the time of the initial stop until the dog arrives. So for that, I, I'd like to get the video, uh, uh, the, the icon. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Uh, um, there's Judd also... Is, is, I'm, um, I'm sorry? Sorry to interrupt. There's also dash cam footage where I am questioning Chief Liebenau about the typical... Um, the average traffic stop time for that officer. Um, mm -hmm. So how would I go about getting uh, my own copy of the body cam, the dash cam, and the dispatch re uh, transcripts? Just a second. And? PD, do you know where that is? Um, no, I can look it up. If you go over there, 
uh, you you can just go to the to the front window there and you can request it. Okay. All right. So uh, I'll tell you what. If you're going to do that, um, I mean, is that your plan? Possibly. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cycle this thing forward. I'm going to cycle it forward uh, probably two weeks, and, and then we can have another pre-trial. Um, what are you, what is your work hours? I I just sell stuff on eBay. I was telling that officer that the van is what I live in, um, so I I don't work, um, and I have open availability. All right. Um, well, uh, because I was thinking about the possibility of an in-person uh, get-together, because then we can see how long the tapes are. Uh, however, uh, let, let's just do another phone call. Uh, let's, uh, we can get this thing in two weeks, can't we? All right, so this is uh, 11, so let's go one week, let's go two weeks, and let's have a pre-trial. Uh, but seeing you have general availability, I'm going to have it on two weeks from today, September 23rd at 1.30. Uh, I'm sorry, the 25th at 1.30. So is, will that work for you? And it'll just be a phone call again. Okay. So just call the okay. same number? Just call the same number uh, on the 25th at 1.30. In the meantime, uh, I'll get some of the camera material myself, and I'll take a look at it, and I probably will compare it to, to uh, well, at least in my mind, I'll compare it to a number of things that we have uh, that, where uh, I, can, I can see that... Yes, I believe so. Good. I'll talk to you then uh, two weeks on the 25th at 1.30 when you call me, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye. 